Hi friends! Today we are going to be talking about building a dark academia capsule wardrobe. So if you are like me and you have multiple different aesthetics that you choose to wear throughout the year, it's likely that your whole closet isn't going to consist of just one thing and you have pretty much a capsule wardrobe of each aesthetic. If you're like me and you kind of just want the pieces to make a lot of different outfits and not purchase too many things, then this video is for you. So in this video, I will be sharing a bunch of different pieces that you can mix and match to come up with a ton of different outfits. First thing that you need to consider though before you go out and try to find things is you need to decide upon the color palette. So if you're doing brown, you wanna do creams and whites with that and tans. If you're doing blacks, then you can do whites, grays, creams, you get what I'm saying. So just look at each piece that I'm showing you and you can take notes about the item, but make sure that you get them in your color palette. Let's get started with the bottoms that you'll want. So the first one is a nice brown pair of trousers. These are very lightweight and mine are in brown because it goes with everything else in my closet and you cannot go wrong with a pair of these. The next item is a tan skirt. It's a long skirt. This skirt is so amazing. I thrifted this. It has pockets and shorts in it. It's beautiful. I love it. A black pleated skirt, which I currently have on. I got this from Amazon. It has shorts underneath it and it fits me so well in the waist. It's not too short, not too revealing, and it is a perfect skirt to go with everything and just spice up a look. And some casual shorts. These shorts I actually just got from Banana Republic on sale. They are nice linen shorts and I could transition my DA aesthetic into spring summer. Okay, now let's move on to the jackets. I only have two jackets and this isn't just for this video. I only have two jackets in general. I did have a black pea coat, but to be totally honest, it was way too small. It was an extra small. I couldn't lift my arms in it and I have shot in it many times for this channel, but it doesn't actually fit me. And out of all the jackets I wore this winter, this one was the one that I wore the most. This is a must have coat in your closet in general, but especially for DA. This trench coat I got from Forever 21 four or five years ago, and it was five bucks on sale. I can't believe how cheap it was. It's one of my most worn jackets and it is in perfect condition still. I don't know how, but it is. The next jacket that I chose for this capsule wardrobe is the blazer. Of course I had to say a blazer, right? Cause this is so DA. This specific blazer I thrifted. It was a men's large and then I sewed it to fit me and it goes with my entire wardrobe. So I think a blazer is a must. And what's so nice about having a blazer and a trench coat is you have the option for something lighter, which would be the blazer, even though mine is wool, or you have something a little bit warmer, which is the trench coat that goes to your feet. Variety. I'm going to keep saying that. Okay, moving on to dresses. Now you might think that dresses are a little pointless because you can't do much with the dress. You wear it once and it's done. But in my case, because it's short sleeve, I can wear it multiple different ways. And I see a lot of people that combine long sleeve dresses into their capsule wardrobe, but it doesn't really make sense because if it's short sleeve, you have the option to do layers. And I'm a big fan of layers. So I included this plaid brown dress that I thrifted. It is by Ann Taylor from Loft or is Loft Ann Taylor's brand? I don't know. Now moving on to corsets. Because my capsule wardrobe is so small, I realized this is technically smaller than a capsule wardrobe. So I went ahead and I just chose both colors in my corsets because I was just gonna go for the black, but I only had 10 pieces. So I was like, okay, I need to add something else for the people. I've got two different colors here. You cannot go wrong with corsets. They elevate your look so much. Both of these corsets, believe it or not, I got them from AliExpress. This one was $5, this one was 15. This one is, a little more high quality. It's boned. It's like a satin material. And this one is not boned, but it's very comfortable and stretchy. And oh my gosh, these both fit me so well. If you don't want to spend $70 on a corset, I would highly recommend getting these as long as you know it's something you're going to wear for a long time to come because, you know, it's at the Express. Okay, so now we are moving on to sweaters. So I have one sweater. It says, stop judging me. I do not have a 
plain tan sweater. Just act like there's no, there's nothing written on this because I wish it was plain, but we're working with what I have. And this sweater is from Wild Fox. It's a very nice material, super soft, but more on the pricey, pricier side. I have two different colors of a sweater vest. I have a, a cream color and a brown, and they are a little bit different of a cut too. This one's a little more cropped, more fitted, and this one's a little bit more oversized. This I actually got from Walmart for $12. This one I got from, I think I got this one from Sheen when I got my cottage cord dress last year. I think it was five bucks for this. It was really good material. I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up a sweater vest, but it goes with everything in my wardrobe. And last but not least, we've got our white blouses. So the first blouse is a collared blouse. And I actually do not have a collared blouse with these nice puff sleeves that isn't cropped. This is the only one I have. So I wear this under so many things and you would never know it's cropped because you can't tell that it ties. I just tuck it into everything. But this is the perfect layering blouse, but it's also perfect to wear on its own too. Also, this blouse is by Peach Puff, but I got it from Forever 21 maybe seven years ago. It's still in perfect condition. It's my most worn white blouse. Moving on to the next. Okay, this is vintage. I got this at a clothing swap. It's high neck and I chose to put this in the capsule wardrobe because it can be used for layering, but it can also be used as a cover up as well. So I just wanted to add this in there. The next top is this short puff sleeve blouse. I just got this from a vintage market. It was $2 and it is a thin material. I think it's polyester, but I actually prefer it to be thin because I bought this specifically for summer and I wanted the puff sleeve and I wanted it for layering, but I didn't want to be super hot. So this fits the bill perfectly and you'll see how I layer it with outfits later, but oh my gosh, it's literally just perfect for layering or wearing by itself. The last blouse that I have is this one that I'm wearing. I thrifted this blouse. I think it was $4. It has these amazing pirate sleeves. I don't know what you call these sleeves, but oh my gosh, it's amazing. Again, great for layering. I could wear it just alone or I could wear it like this and it has all this extra frilly detail that I can pull out of my overshirt and it's just absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite tops. I chose all of these blouses for a specific reason based on the details, which you will see later when I put on some different outfits to show you, but all the details of the blouses are so specific that it really makes each outfit its own individual thing. I didn't wanna just have a normal button up with a, a normal collar because then you can really tell someone's outfit repeating, but if you have different blouses, it's very easy to spice it up and make it look like it's a new look. And I am going to be including one normal t-shirt and that is this knitted cropped shirt from Forever 21. I got this kind of recently, but it is a very nice top and it's cream. So it matches all of my blouses and I can wear it with a blouse that is unbuttoned. And I can also wear it as an undershirt. If it's hot, I can wear it. I just wanted to include it because I feel like it's gonna work really well in the mix. Now moving on to the last part of this wardrobe, which is shoes. My first pair of shoes are these brown combat boots. Ignore the white salt. On the bottom i thrifted these shoes they are by lorado and they were nine dollars crazy they're real leather and they go with everything in my closet i just feel like you cannot go wrong with a nice pair of combat boots and my next pair of shoes are these black booties they are like combat boots but just healed very slightly healed i will say i don't really normally wear heels but i felt like i should include the healed version instead of my normal black combat boots just because these dress up an outfit quite a bit okay so that is it for all my pieces i do have a pair of black mary jane heels that are coming in the mail and as soon as i have those those are literally going to be my go-to shoe. If I had the Mary Janes, I would totally, totally do those. Ugh. So now that you've seen everything that this capsule wardrobe contains, I'm gonna show you a bunch of different outfits and a bunch of different ways that you can put these outfits together just using such a small amount of clothing. So in total, this capsule wardrobe had 18 pieces and I ended up making over 45 looks. I could have done more, but 
this video took me around five hours to film, so I did not do any more than that. Let's start by making some outfits with my black pleated skirt. I call this my pirate blouse, so wearing my pirate blouse, I am just wearing it with my black pleated skirt, and it's very simple, but this top is doing so much already. I don't need to add anything to it, but I can, so I'll show you. All I did was add my black corset and this messenger boy hat. That's always what I call it. I'm not sure if that's actually what it's called. Anyways, it's an entirely different look when you add the corset and the hat and the blazer. So don't forget to incorporate those accessories to complete your look. And here I am just putting on my two different jackets to kind of show you that they both go well with the looks. Now switching out the top again and switching into some brown boots. I just have on my cream sweater vest on top of the current blouse. Now moving on to the dress, which I love the most because it is so versatile and I did shoot this on a different day because this video took so long. So pretty much I put on the dress and I put my blouse on top. Now I have the option to let the strings hang out of the blouse or tuck them in for a more clean look. To elevate this look a bit more, I added a black belt and put on this black hat. Wearing that same blouse, all I did was put on my brown sweater vest and my blazer. This is what the outfit looks like with the blazer taken off. And here is my cream sweater vest, wearing the exact same outfit underneath. And of course, my trench coat matches perfectly. This is my short sleeve blouse that I decided to pair on top of the dress with a brown belt. This is definitely a spring summer look, which is why I love it so much. But don't forget, you can also wear it just as a dress too. Now it's time to reverse those tops and put them underneath the dress. So I'm wearing my short sleeve top underneath and if it gets a little chilly, I can just throw on my trench coat. You can also layer the cream corset on top. I did not want to put it on, so I just wanted to show you. These take so long to put on and off. And you can also do the black, but I did end up putting on the black because I had so many outfits planned for it. So I traded out the top for another white blouse. This is my long sleeve blouse with the collar. And I just put on my black hat and my black boots. You can do it without the corset as well. And it looks like this. And layer it with the blazer. Then keeping the current look, I just layered my cream sweater on top of it and paired it with my blazer. The brown boots would also match, but if you wanted to dress it up, you could wear the black booties. And for this, I just put my blouse over top and tied it to make it look as if I was wearing a skirt instead of a dress. Moving on to my brown trousers. So I started out with my black boots, the short sleeve puff blouse, and the black corset. And of course, you can't forget the jacket. And this set looks so good together. It almost looks as if they perfectly match. Or if you didn't want to wear the blazer, you could just throw on that blouse. Now I switched out the blouse from underneath my corset to the long sleeve. So taking off the corset, you can go for a more casual look. And this definitely looks a bit more androgynous, which is why I like it. 
To easily change up the look, I added my brown sweater vest on top of my blouse. And then to change it up one more time, I added my cream sweater. I also chose to tuck my pants into my boots because I found this wonderful Pinterest photo and I loved the way that it looked. And for the next look, all I did was change out my sweater vest for my long sleeve sweater. Now if it was a little hotter, I could put on that knitted tank top that I showed you guys and I could also use my blouse for layering if it was a little chilly or I could even put on my blazer. This is a look that I wear quite a bit. Of course you don't have to wear the blouse underneath, you could do it like this or you could even go with the longer trench coat. Of course, you can always just wear the blouses with nothing layered on top like this. But if you wanted to make the look a bit more interesting, you can add the corset. So for this look, I added the cream corset on top. And as you can tell, it goes perfectly together. Now moving on to my brown shorts. So you've seen this top combination before, but I just wanted to show you what it would look like with shorts as well, because it still is very, very cute, but also casual and laid back. I would definitely consider this look to be a dark academia spring summer look, and it's something I don't see often. So you could also wear the corset without a top underneath it, like this if it was very hot outside, and I think this looks just as cute. Then I put on my short sleeve blouse again with my black corset and no belt. And because I'm wearing the brown boots, I felt like this jacket looked great with this look. But let's switch out the boots to black and my darker jacket. This definitely looks more dressy if you were going out for a nice dinner or just wanted to look like you were trying a little more. Back to a more casual look, wearing the same blouse, I just layered my brown sweater vest on top. Bringing it back to the basics, I am putting on that knitted tank top again, and I am layering it with my blouse. This is definitely the perfect, again, spring-summer DA look. If it was a little chillier outside, you could pair it with this sweater and a belt. And now we're switching back to the cream sweater vest and the short sleeve blouse. You also have the option to change the look entirely and throw on that cream corset. I completely forgot to put on my black boots with this look, so rule of thumb, if you're wearing a black item of clothing, you want to make sure that you pair it with something else that's black within your wardrobe. So that would have been the black boots, but I forgot. Moving on to the skirt, all of these outfits consist of wearing this maxi skirt and it does not fit me so if you're wondering why it looks a little unfitted that is why throughout this video you will just see me change the top combinations with the bottoms to create different outfits but they all go together so well Even if you don't have all the additives like the sweater vests and the corsets, even just the plain blouses look great with these types of bottoms if that's all that you have in your wardrobe. And one more spring summer look, but with a long skirt and you can add that blazer on top to look a bit more classy. This blouse I primarily use just as a nice cover-up. I feel like it's very fitted and the frilly detail is super beautiful, but you can also wear it as a standalone top too. 
Okay, so that is it for my capsule wardrobe. I hope that you guys found this helpful when building your dark academia wardrobe because I mean, I wish I would have found something like this when I was building mine because it would have been so helpful to avoid buying unnecessary pieces that I just didn't need that would not work in my closet in the end. The great thing about videos like this is that it really shows you you do not need a lot to dress good and wear different outfits. Hopefully this is a, you know, a good little list for you when you are going thrifting next and or however you choose to shop. And if you have any tips for a capsule wardrobe for anyone here that is watching, feel free to feel free to drop a comment below. Anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a lovely time and I will see you all in the next one.